So I was cleaning out my closet the other day and I have a binder full of like hamster and rabbit things. I used to really like to collect pamphlets from stores about like care guides for pets, but I never obviously took the advice in the pamphlet. I just really liked how they looked because they had a cute hamster, a cute rabbit on them. But I found my PetSmart Syrian hamster pamphlet the other day and I looked through this and I thought, Let's go through this and make a video about this because it's actually terrible. Of course, this is the Syrian hamster one, um, so they do have separate ones, I guess. I'm assuming they have a dwarf hamster one, um, but I think the care inside of them is the same. So on the front of this, it says approximately two years for their lifespan, which that that's accurate. Um, and then it says their length of their body is five to seven inches once again accurate pet smart you are in a good start <laughs> i know this is gonna end badly then it says nocturnal most likely to be active at night once again that's correct so the first part of this pamphlet is step one choosing a habitat hamsters can learn to enjoy human interaction but they're not crazy about other hamsters so only house one hamster per habitat thank you pet smart at least you can get something right the next thing says, your hamster needs a home large enough for a food dish, water bottle, hiding area, and a exercise wheel. Minimum cage size, 12 by 12 by 12 inches. So with a grand total of 144 square inches, we have PetSmart's bare minimum. Here is my slipper. Here is PetSmart's minimum. Here is my other slipper. There is PetSmart's bare minimum for a hamster cage. Why is it both of my slippers can pretty much barely fit in this? This right here is 450 square inches of floor space. The bare minimum a hamster should ever have to live in. There are my slippers to compare the size. Then we have step two, which is play and hide. The exercise wheel. Remember hamsters are nocturnal and may use the exercise wheel after your bedtime. This doesn't say anywhere the size of wheel that you should provide, especially for a Syrian hamster which is really upsetting because now someone's just gonna go pick up a random sized wheel. Syrians should have nothing less than an eight inch wheel or else it can cause back issues or low activity levels because who wants to run in something that you can't even fit in? Then it says nesting material. Hamsters will shred material and make sleep areas. Paper or cotton fabrics are acceptable. Paper is acceptable, yes. Cotton, no. Cotton has long stranded fibers which can get wrapped around your hamster's limbs and teeth or if they swallow it, it can cause a blockage. And these have been proven things that have happened to other hamster owners where the hamster has gotten it wrapped around their leg and it has cut circulation off where they had to remove the hamster's leg. Step three, bedding. Hamsters love to hide and burrow. Keyword, hide and burrow. So provide lots of clean aspen, pine, or recycled bedding. PetSmart, pine is not safe. <laughs> Line the home with one to two inches of bedding. One to two inches. But hamsters love to hide and burrow, but give them one to two inches. How are you going to burrow in one inch? Is this an inch? That's like an inch. How are you going to burrow in this? Cedar bedding is not recommended for small pets. Well, at least you know cedar isn't, but pine, it's same thing. Pine is from the softwood family. It's also not safe. Bedding should be spot cleaned weekly and completely changed monthly. I'm gonna fall off my chair. I actually cannot believe I just read that. <laughs> I was expecting it to say to be fully cleaned weekly because that is what most care guides will say, which is very wrong, but I get that's good, PetSmart. I mean, like 5% of your information is good. Nutrition and maintenance. Hamsters are... 
herbivores. Herbivores. The definition of a herbivore is an animal that eats plants. Hamsters eat seeds, grains, and insects. Hamsters are omnivores, not herbivores, pet smart. It's really sad when you don't even know what type of food the animal you are selling is supposed to eat. Hamsters are very clearly omnivores. Go ahead and research that. They are not herbivores. They are not rabbits or guinea pigs. So that is it for this. I don't know what to call this. This is not this is not a care guide. This is an incorrect care guide that needs to be highly updated and PetSmart you really need to figure out your your stuff. That this is not okay. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe PetSmart will see it if they do. Please change your care to like so something a little better. At least to tell people hamsters are omnivores. At least do that. I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye!